hopefully the unfortunate person who I strangled will be revived by the supernatural agencies of the aliens and, uh, and be in a position where she can function normally having really some sort of terrible traumatic to damage on his brain. I was well explained to her and uh, she won't do it again. And she will tell her friends. And uh, the people who committed these crimes will be re educated and not do it again. That, that's better than killing them or anything else. And if we could repair the brains of murderers who've got damaged brains, that would be better than killing them. At the moment it's not possible, but it might become possible one day. And uh, well, one of those things. Uh, basically, a, a metal patient who was injured at Springfield could be traced. Uh, I don't know where they are. And uh, they could have plastic brain replacements, which will be, be, be the same person. And uh, that would make them better. And these uh, terrible crimes and psychosis still will be undone. But it only applies to this generation of us who are alive now. And uh, I can't make that happen, but I, I hope that the Space aliens who control me will do that. And uh, they have what appear to be supernatural as fact, it's just technology. You see, it's not that so. I've had a, I've had the women's brains for a long time. They used to have a problem. And uh, some of my friends realise that androids don't like it. But the I mean, meat brain is, is actually meat brain, it's only meat. And uh, plastic brain is, well, it's not better, but it's, it's quite good. But it's sad. Uh, and of course, you die. Very bad. I've been down the road again today. I'm getting stronger actually. And hopefully, this attack on me will stop. And uh, they don't like it because Christians are very angry that their faith is false. And uh, I've been told it. They think it's a terrible sin. The patients are there committing crimes. And if we don't realize they're committing crimes, they need to be easily. Old people are very difficult to go on. Or at least older people. But, uh, but these young people can be taught. And uh, that's the difference. Unfortunately, they, they just uh, probably older people could be taught too. I don't know, but they brainwash them in these these places, these Christian churches, and they do believe it. But unfortunately, a lot of what they teach is just just made up. This was, uh, I, I spoke to a bit of one of these researchers and said, "Just made up. Just made up. It's all rubbish. So uh, there's no truth in them, is there?" I think the Bible says there's no truth in them. And when the judges are all corrupt, then who's going to judge us? That's, that's how it is. So, uh, hopefully things will improve. My face won't improve, but uh, that's how it is. Vicious criminals now. And uh, it's sad, really, because nobody wants to kill anybody else. And, but they do, because they're drawn to it. And they, they're, th uh, they're th I really feel terrible. And, uh, so be it. But you can't undo all murders, you can't fix all diseases, and, but you can do a bit. I just heard from my wife that she's now trying to buy a train ticket. Well, you can't buy a train ticket because it went off money, but you have got a bus ticket. And uh, well, she's in, in Budapest, and she's not very far from the bus station. She's got a bicycle, so she could go there. And I think she's got enough money to buy a bus ticket, and I can't send her anymore. So uh, I don't know what she's doing, but she'll have to be hungry overnight because I can't send any more money. They've, they've decided not to send me any more money because, uh, well, I've got any. I'm in debt. It has to be paid. I'm in debt to the Wimpy Barn. It has to be paid. And uh, I'm in debt to the nice man who, who lent me some some uh, cards from my phone. And that includes putting money on Edith's phone, so she'll better talk to each other. But she always turns the phone off, so I can't talk to her. I do have to know where people are. No good, just you know, and uh, it is possible to use GPS coordinates now. We've got our system lined up to GPS coordinates, so it is possible that people who do nasty things could have their brains adjusted and they wouldn't do them anymore. And uh, well, I, I'm not very class in judgment, I watch television and see things happening, and they're very nasty, and nastiness are replied by other nastiness, and it, it is horrible. And um, you know, where there's no trust, there's no trust. But you can't do that in Iceland. Only individuals can be done. And you have to know where they are. But uh, it's pretty bad. And it's not for me to interfere. Really. I'm just a man. A man who's been, well, I don't know what's happened to me. 
Joe would have a better name. Yeah. I don't know. It's beyond my understanding. And uh, the machines the aliens have are so different from ours. They can create rest of their own people and, uh, and uh, so forth. So, and there's no, no uh, limit to what they can do. But they can't bring the dead back if there's no trace. So there has to be a trace. But uh, it's one of those things. So don't ask if people to bring dead relatives back. You can't. And you wouldn't do it. Why should he? Why? Why, why do it? Because their friend, their dad, their lives are dead and there's no point bringing them back. No one's interested in doing that. Of course, the individuals are interested in coming after the dead and most of them. But, um, but even when they, and people like me who have been wise by the aliens, possibly, they just throw me away, nothing really else. And uh, I'm quite, quite ill with heart disease. I've been injured by chest, I've been injured by this life, and I'm quite ill. So I sit about. And, uh, I go down on my bus every now and walk. I can't, I probably could walk down at all very slowly, but they're into me and I've got I've probably had a car clot in the heart or something which has uh, incredibly reduced my ability to walk about. And it won't get better, unless I have a new heart putting, which is unlikely. I don't waste their time on people like me. You've had your times, you know, so. uh, And even if my wife does turn up, as she could do, I can't. I can't predict what will happen. She's been offered a job down the road. I've told her her telephone number. And uh, we will we'll in fact give her a job. I don't know. It depends on the business. I'm afraid. But uh, she can stay here for it rent free. And uh, I've hardly got any food left. And I've got, as I say, cheese and uh, rivisa, which is I mustn't eat bread, you see. So also, unless that's a staff of life, it's actually quite bad for you. Especially people with gluten. But, uh, I think I've just started bread, I think so much. And I'm sort of very sick people with bread poisoning bread, I believe, because they've guts from up to me. And uh, the only way is to stop eating bread and to wash it out with water. And I'm doing that. I've lost weight, and I've lost weight, I've lost weight. But that was because the doctor told me to not eat bread. So I'm being very careful. I do have other foods, but not very much. So I'm going to buy food for myself, and uh, my wife turns out to buy food for her. I don't want you to come. No idea, unless she tells me she's on the bus, I won't know. And I can't tell until she tells me. And I didn't know she was in Budapest, but I, le I could see on the machine that she'd spent money in Budapest, so she was in Budapest on the, on the 12th. That's the, on the, on the, on the 12th. No, it was the 12th or 13th. And now she's in, uh, still in Budapest, I think. And uh, so it's a bad world. And uh, I'm not supernatural, but I do, I do have these interesting plans. And, uh, my chest is damaged. I'm glad you And uh, it's pretty bad. I don't intend anybody harm. I just want to carry on my life. And I'm here to observe people, try to educate them as best I can. They don't like it. They know better. And uh, I've been on a parts universe and seen things. I can't see it, I can't read, can't see it now if it's gone. My mother knew things other people didn't know and they merged it because they didn't like it. Of course, so when you to Jesus, he said things that people didn't like, so they merged it. And uh, so it is. So the, the people in this planet do not, want, do not want to contact people from outside and do not want to know if they are there. They've been like that for a long time because the people in charge have vested interests in, in not being aliens. I think it's based on the, the knowledge that human beings want to say pets. That's over now. That's over. Because uh, they defeated us. You know? And our pets are better than us. And all those things. And for slavery as well. Certainly the train services are for slavery as well. And I've, I've seen them planning those crimes and, and watched it happen. Some people come in from other countries and uh, are basically sold into slavery. They don't know they're being sold to slavery, they get a job, and they found that they use as domestic pets and sex slaves instead of being properly treated as in Britain. They go to the great houses, sort of, and uh, it's appalling. And some of these rich people are waiting desperately to get these women because they can sleep with them, that's what it is. And they're attractive for each other, and they're to bring else. And they, they, they don't know what they do to them, but it, they, it was awful. 
the gown for a long time, since the collapse of natural communism, the barrier to protect the Eastern Europe was pushed down. And uh, they, were, they, they had this iron curtain which actually protected people in Eastern Europe. And because they, they couldn't trade, they got to stay right down down. But it was a lie, it, was, well, it wasn't, it wasn't bad, it was even worse now. And that's because of Britain, Britain's interference. I don't know who it was, but the royal family decided, I think maybe the Pope was also to punish Eastern Europe for rejecting Christianity, the Eastern Pope, for blaming and of course the Queen. But uh, basically, they're the ones who are criminals. The criminals are the Pope is a liar, and the Queen is the Queen, is just, and the Queen and all are just criminals, exploit people, enslave people, etc. And there's no reason for it. The West, the Northern Conquest, and the, and the Catholic lives in terms of to get into power, to make money on certain churches. It's a business, a religion business. Of course, other people, other religions do the same thing. It's very sad. And if, if people knew what the priests were doing, they'd tear them apart, which is what happened in Hitler's Germany, it was revealed. And, uh, and in Communist Russia, I don't know what happened there, but people who the passage was what they were preaching. I mean, they were suppressed. I mean, that's, that's a two days since persecution of the Christians were well, basically the Christians were most criminal in history. I don't, I don't know. I, I'm not saying we should do anything to hurt them, but just, just not go to their, their institutions. And it was wrong with mine. The priests make it all right. And if you don't, you say they kill you. So uh, that's what that is. Uh, I'm going to hate them. That's Edith did when she was in um, it's the people she was the son of the priest to make her of because they're the liars. And when she did eventually believe the priest, she was forcibly converted and did believe the priest and found the lying by experience. And it was pretty awful. It's a sad world. Pope told me he, he lied to make people happy, basically. And he's still doing it. They're liars. Make it up. And he get angry for saying that because he makes money out of it. He gets his whatever he gets, his concubines and his big palaces. And that's what it was to it. And whatever they do. That's it. It's awful. The sickness of this planet is awful. And it's to do with the number of cells in the people's brains. They've got, not got enough. And that this sickness caused by the knowledge of death. But they, and they know they can't do anything about it. But there's, the extra segments help you to cope with that. And uh, until I realise you've got to get on with your life anyway. You're going to die. Of course, you take steps to prevent it. And the more clever you are, the more chances of staying alive longer. But it's a very difficult step to make. And, uh, and it's really made me feel sick, what I found out. Uh, I've, been, I've known him for some time, but it's been in the background. And, it's, and uh, if you know that uh, that's what happened, then you become quite nice to each other. You know, the Christians are awful people. They tortured me. It was a terrible story. Uh, the version of Olympic gold, she gets tied up for three years, dreadful, and now she's on the street and relying on me for money and they stop me having money. It's, it's all because I'm in debt. But I was going to say, money is about me on the street. She, she has enough, she probably has enough for food, that's a basic thing. I've told the, the police here to help her, but they obviously don't, not interested. You know, they you get the scene, the scene that, well, it's not British, she's, she's hungry and hungry, and so well, she should be able to by her husband. She's always been a husband. And, uh, well, I'm week two, because of debt, and a uh, of stolen things, and uh, I did have money, it was all taken, and I spent it irrationally as well, of course. So, uh, I mean, it had all worked out, we should have catch a plane and uh, a train to the station, and some side of the ocean blocks it. But I suggested I didn't do it in the it just confused me, and I stopped it, and uh, that's how it is. And why they were just, you see, the Pope was supposed to be in Europe, we were joking against him. But at that time, he was a Catholic, but I think she turned in the same way. But hopefully she won't be buying it. As far as she's wrong, but uh, I don't understand it. I mean, this machine gunning Christians in, in uh, wherever it is, it is right. it's not right, it's horrible. But they're doing it for the same reason, because the Christians do terrible things. And, uh, and they don't admit to it. They, they say, if what I say is a terrible sin, but the Muslims will believe it. And they say, that's what they're doing. So it's the Christians are committing crimes. And they do kill people and they work. They take brains out all sorts of things. And uh, uh, plastic brain replacement therapy. Ah, uh, if you're lucky. Some of my friends have had it. 
people to go in and say it's a lady I haven't known her for a long time. But I don't haven't known her since but I think I've died, she's quite old lady. She um she had a brain taken out in the hospital in Portsmouth. Because they didn't believe she was Polish, you know, she spoke Polish, couldn't speak it in front of the doctor, so she was lying, making it up. That's your brain out. And she was a suicidal, but you know, she, well, she was dead after the operation, and I stayed at home. And we had to put a plastic brain new one in, and uh, she got out. It's a, it's a treatment, it's, it's a cure because the brain is repaired. Uh, I think the information is, is sort of such a way it can be retrieved. I don't know, but it's the same person. But, uh, it's a, a piece of cut brains out of sick people. Criminals. They say they're treating the sick. Well, sick people are ill because they have damaged brains. And, and, and it's incurable, really, because unless you can put new brains in, which, which we can, and humans can't, that will come. But uh, whether a person has murdered people, or some of them have, but the work of having a new brain is different. Than anyway, I'm sad. Very sad. Oh, I'll probably die soon anyway. Sad world. And then you die.